What's up y'all, it's your girl Jamika, and I'm back with another YouTube video. Before we get into the video, you already know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you like and enjoy it. And that will also let me know that you want more content like it. Also, share this video all across your social media platforms and outlets to get the word out there and to help grow the channel. And lastly, please go ahead and click that notification bell button down below so you don't miss a single video that I post. Make sure that you select the all option so you're guaranteed not to miss a thing now let's get right into the video let's go okay you guys so apparently this past sunday on july 12 2020 tory lane's megan the stallion and megan the stallion's best friend all partied and did a late night swim at kylie jenner's house no we're going live we're going live oh, we had to come um we had to come kill the streets for, for five minutes. Okay. Sorry, don't get my phone wet. So shortly after the pool party ended, as they were attempting to leave, there was a reported argument that broke out and it ended with gunshots. And then as three people got into an SUV and drove off, someone called the police and reported the vehicle. And basically a couple of minutes later, down the street, the police officers pulled the SUV over because it matched the description in the call. And it was Megan and Stallion, Tory Lanez, and Megan's best friend in the vehicle. Police noticed that Megan's foot was bleeding and apparently a Megan had been shot a few times in the foot and was rushed to the hospital. And while Megan was being rushed to the hospital, Tory Lanez was charged with driving with a concealed weapon, which is a felony. Now, Megan has not disclosed who shot her. However, she did say this on her Instagram and Twitter earlier today. Megan said this, the narrative that is being reported about Sunday morning's events are inaccurate. And I like to set the record straight on Sunday morning, I suffered gunshot wounds as a result of a crime that was committed against me and done with the intention to physically harm me. I was never arrested. The police officers drove me to the hospital where I underwent surgery to remove the bullets. I'm incredibly grateful to be alive and that I'm expected to make a full recovery. But it was important for me to clarify the details about this traumatic night. I'm currently focused on my recovery so I can return back to my life and back to making music as soon as possible. And then she captioned this saying, I was never arrested. This whole experience was an eye opener and a blessing in disguise. I hate that it took this experience for me to learn how to protect my energy. Now, like I said earlier, Megan has not disclosed who shot her yet. However, people are speculating that it possibly is Tory Lanez because earlier today, Megan's producer posted this on his Twitter. He added Tory Lanez and said, count your effing days. And then somebody said Tory Lane's rep has also spoken out and claimed that Tory was defending Megan. And then her producer said, I hope y'all don't believe he was defending her. That's a BS story. I don't know y'all what y'all think. Leave your comments down below. Anyways, I'm about to play y'all the footage of what went down that night. Check it out.
Okay, now y'all, even though Megan has yet to say who shot her, according to the YouTube blogger Tasha K, which I do like her channel, so if y'all don't know about her, go check her out at Unwind with Tasha K. She is stating that a close source of Megan she spoke with recently over the weekend after this event happened told her that her and Tori have been in an entanglement and that she recently tried to break it off with him after she had an argument with him after the party and that he shot her. Mm. So this would be technically a domestic violence case. So according to the source closest to Megan, they're saying that Megan and Tori have been sleeping with each other for the past couple of months and during quarantine, they grew even closer. So if Megan allegedly was trying to, you know, break off the entanglement during the argument after this party, I guess Tori was like, nah, you got that. If I can't have you, nobody else can type of loving. So uh, where my piece at? And then, you know, yeah, the rest is history. I don't know, y'all. First of all, I'm so tired of this entanglement talk, okay? If you can't get in a committed, respectable relationship, then don't get in nothing. You deserve better than an entanglement, okay? Anyways, y'all, what do y'all think about this story, okay? This is just mind-blowing, y'all. I mean, Megan got that dangerous stuff. I mean, she need to make a song. If you're not gonna snitch on them and, and tell the cops who did it, at least get some money off of it and make a song called I Got That Who Shot Ya. So according to the source, they're saying that Megan and Tori got into a little scuffle in the car while leaving the party. And during that argument, you know, Tori got pissed that she was trying to break off their entanglement arrangement and reach for his gun and was waving it around. And, you know, Megan's like, what, you trying to be tough? And they got into a scuffle and apparently the gun went off a few times, accidentally shooting her in the foot. Um, so the source is saying that they don't think that Tori meant to do it, but it happened. Now, my question to y'all is, who do y'all think this close source is to Megan? I feel like it's the best friend. It's only logical and it only makes sense because the only people there in that SUV was Megan, her best friend, and Tori. So I feel like the close source that's divulging this information is the best friend, but they're just not revealing that it's her because, you know, they don't want to put her out there as snitching because you know how people are today in hip-hop okay we just now witnessed what happened with 6 9 I don't know I feel like it's her best friend who's the source but I feel like she's already of course talked to Megan about it and Megan approved of her best friend telling her side of the story so therefore it would prevent Megan from having to you know actually tell the story herself to the bloggers but at the, at the same time her side of the story and the truth really gets put out there you know what I'm saying but I, I don't know, you guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comments about this whole situation. And I feel like this. Megan, if you ain't gonna snitch on the man, then at least get some coins off of it and make a hot song about it. You know what I'm saying? But in the future, please be more selective and be more wise about who you give that dangerous stuff to and stop these entanglements, okay? If it ain't a real committed relationship, then don't even be giving it away. Period. And no, 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 I'm not really trying to be judgmental. I'm just saying when, with everybody trying to normalize having an entanglement, that's just going to give people the okay to just never really settle down, never really commit, never marry. And it's like, I don't know, I'm just not here for it. It, people are gonna be having kids out of wedlock with different people that's gonna be in these entanglements. The kids is gonna suffer. It's just not right. Like, I don't want to sit up here and normalize these entanglements, okay? So, y'all, let me know your thoughts and comments about that, too. Y'all with me or y'all with me, okay? Anyways, y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. Anyways, y'all, before y'all exit off of this video, please make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up if you actually liked it and enjoyed it or at least found it informative. And that will also let me know that you want more content like it. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well because, you know, it's free. You ain't got to spend no coins, so why not? And go ahead also 
and share this video on all your social media platforms and outlets so we can get the word out there and you know get other thoughts comments and opinions as well and help grow the channel and lastly hit that uh, notification bell button down below as well and make sure that you guys select the all option so you don't miss a single video that i upload and post for y'all okay i'm working hard grinding for y'all and like i always say take care of yourself and each other peace